me, and this is just a really quick video. I thought I'd share with you a way I found to store my necklaces. Um, this is really cheap, really free, and, I mean, basically free. You don't really need anything. Um, it'll work for any necklace, especially any necklace with a clasp. As you can see, I've hung up all my beaded necklaces. Let me just pan through for you guys. These are all my beaded necklaces, and what happened was I was storing them in Ziploc baggies, and they were breaking um, because they've been coiled in uncomfortable positions. I would pick them up out the bag, and they were breaking. So, all you need is a thumbtack and some ribbon, okay, and a wall. <laughs> See the pretty ribbon? All you need to do is thumbtack the ribbon to the wall, and then just hang your necklaces. Genius, right? And then this can be a way that you decorate your room as well. So, there you go. <laughs> that has to be the fastest, easiest, cheapest way to hang all your necklaces. And if you don't have a ribbon, you can even use a shoestring, but it won't look as pretty. And so, hold on, I'll zoom in and give you a close-up of the ribbon because it's so pretty, and then I'll show you guys some other things. Okay? Bye, guys. Okay, here's the ribbon. Isn't it pretty? And I didn't have to pay a dime for this. My mom had some ribbon laying around, so... Like I said, use ribbon, or you can use a shoestring. See, anything that's on, like, a wire like this will break if you put it in a Ziploc baggie. And I've lost three necklaces, guys. I was devastated. Um, who wants to throw their money away, you know what I mean? And then when you love something and it breaks, it's just devastating. So anything like this, anything beaded. And you know how, like, if you put them in a Ziploc bag, they get all bent out of shape, kind of like that. So beaded necklaces really need to be hung up. As you can see, like, they're on strings and, like, um, they get all bent out of shape. So really hang them up. But like I said, it'll work for anything. I just don't like to hang my costume jewelry because it turns a little bit faster. So I hope this helps you guys. And hold on, I'll show you some other stuff. Okay, so here's the first earring holder. I got this idea from one of my subscribers, which I have to find the video, and I'll post a link in the sidebar. It's one of those splatter pans that you get from the dollar store for the kitchen, okay? And any earring with a fish hook, you just hook it on, okay? And I have it in a vase with some beads. <laughs> the beads are keeping it steady. And I have so many pairs of earrings on here, and let me just see. I can spin it around. I use both sides. So, if you guys see my blog, I just bought these earrings. Um, I use both sides. And it works out well for me. So this is one of my many earring holders. Again, this part was a dollar. The vase I already had. The vase is actually really expensive, but you don't need an expensive vase. And the beads that you would get for, like, a fish tank are really cheap, like, less than $3. So hold on, guys, and I'll show you, like, two more things. Okay, so this was the original earring holder I made. And sorry, I took some earrings off and put them on the other thing. Again, this is only for earrings with a fish hook. And all you need is a thumbtack, a piece of cardboard, and some pantyhose, and you have an earring holder, which you can also flip it over and use the reverse side as well, but I didn't. So I have all my earrings here. I was able to get like 30 pairs of earrings on here, of course, depending on the size. And then um, some of them dangle down, as you can see. Sorry about the lighting. It's really dark over in this corner of the room. But it's perfect, and again, basically free. The cardboard came from um, like a 24-pack of Poland Spring Water. And these are old stockings that my mom didn't want anymore. Like, because you know they have like a hole in them. So, and all these earrings fit on them. So, I hope this gives you guys ideas. You don't need to spend a lot of money on earring holders or necklace holders or anything else. But before I go, I'm going to show you some bracelets and some watches. Bye, guys. Okay, guys. This is how I store my watches. Um, they're in a black case with a see-through top. Um, it works very well for me. Um, honestly, I can't think of a cheap way to store watches. This box came from QVC, so I don't know of an inexpensive way to store your watches. Um, before, I used to have them in a basket, but that really didn't do me any good because I couldn't see them. So, okay. That's that. Okay, and here are my bracelets. <laughs> I know that looks messy, but it's inside of a, a wooden case. There's some paper here. But yeah, this is inside of a wooden trunk that I got at Ross. There's all sorts of bracelets in here. I wouldn't even know where to begin. So yeah, those are in a wooden box. And I'll show you how to store some rings. 
Okay, so last but not least, um, rings get stored in like these boxes here. Um, I actually get them from my local beauty supply store, so try, you know, like they, they come in these display boxes. You know, it never hurts to ask if the person running the store will give you a box. Sometimes you'll be surprised. Sometimes they say yes, and they'll let you just take the boxes because they throw them away. So I have all my rings and things in those boxes. Alright, so that's all guys. Thank you so much. I have these boxes stacked up. As you can see, they go all the way down. Let me just move this paper out of the way. But yeah, they go all the way down. So all of those are costume jewelry rings. And I keep my real jewelry in separate boxes. So yeah, that's it guys. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this quick video. And if you have any tips of your own, feel free to post a video response. And thanks for sharing with me guys. Love you. Bye.